On this video, I'm going to talk about the four reasons why I'm not deconstructing my faith. But I'm going to get right into the video, the four reasons why I'm not deconstructing my faith. Now, if you don't know, right now there's a bit of a, I don't know if I'd call it a crisis in the community, but a lot of artists, a lot of influencers are going and using this phrase called deconstructing their faith. I just had Joseph Solomon on recently who talked about him going through his own deconstruction, reconstruction process. And it's a very, it's a challenge for a lot of people. A lot of people are coming in with all kinds of different preconceived notions, and it's really giving them a tough time to figure out what they actually believe and why they believe it. And so I haven't gone through this. I haven't gone through any type of faith crisis. I haven't dealt with this in the severity where people are kind of questioning some uh, what I'll call fundamental doctrines. And I think the first reason is because I experienced church hurt early like super duper early around 2002 is when i first gave my life to the lord i was a junior in high school and i had a radical conversion experience i was already kind of playing church a little bit but i finally submitted everything over to god gave my life to the lord and it came on the edge of me starting this ministry at my church called the vessel of hip-hop and we would gather every thursday and we would do like an open mic and a bible study and it was super dope we were getting a lot of people that were far from god unchurched people coming along and i was at a mega church that will remain nameless at this point but basically when the lead pastor found out we were doing this ministry we had outgrown the youth ministry we were getting like a hundred kids on a thursday night and the youth pastor instantly completely killed the ministry right away wouldn't even let us have our last meeting and as a new believer i think i was 17 18 at the time that was devastating i was still a senior in high school but thankfully some people from the church i still attend to now started praying that they would uh we would bring the ministry over to that church and that's what happened and we transplanted it but i was devastated man because he basically said that he didn't feel like what we were doing which is utilizing hip-hop and culture to reach people far from god he didn't feel like that was a part of their vision so he just completely killed the ministry out of way so i experienced church hurt early and what you're hearing a lot about right now is people experiencing church hurt people experiencing the le their leaders uh, just letting them down, dropping the ball, their pastors, heavy things happening where maybe somebody you really looked up to in a specific area, boom, they just dropped the ball on a, on a social issue or something like that. I experienced this pretty early. I was pretty passionate about these different things and it really, really wrecked me. And so the second reason I feel like I'm not deconstructing my faith right now is because I got saved as a skeptic. I shared in a different video, me and John Keith did Easter weekend, Resurrection weekend, on why I'm a Christian. And I'm a Christian because I did not have an existential experience. I'm a Christian not because I grew up Christian. I didn't have family that believed in Jesus. I grew up very far from God. I grew up getting arrested at the age of 11, breaking into houses, really hostile towards God, towards the things of God. You guys could watch that video on why I'm a Christian to know specifically, but I came into the faith as a skeptic i was like everybody's talking about this jesus guy what makes him so unique is he really god is he not god i didn't know and so i came in as a skeptic and i was first convinced on jesus and the literal resurrection i got all my answers about other religions other worldviews answered up front and so i view my entire faith through the lens of jesus the resurrection and the gospel and then i kind of reverse engineer everything else from that lens and so i'm convinced on jesus first i'm convinced on the gospels and then everything else kind of works itself out so the next reason the third reason why i am not reconstructing deconstructing my faith is because i stayed away from taking really hard stance and really hard extremes there was a point in my life where from 2008 2012 i was really aligned with the calvinistic position but even in that season i still wasn't like absolutely set on it i was more open to different ideas and i was following some of the teachings and i still kind of do lean in that way in many different regards but I almost kind of held an open hand theology and I talked about that with Joseph Solomon and his big idea was, hey, if you want to travel long, you have to travel light. And what God's been teaching him is that you need to know what the essential close handed doctrines are. What are those things that you need close 
and you need to live by and then avoid all the other things. And so you notice on this channel and the content I create, I don't take a lot of extreme positions. I'm very like, hey man, I don't know. I have no problem telling people I don't know. I'm sure of a couple things, Jesus, the resurrection, a lot of other stuff. I don't know because I'm trying to travel light so that I can travel long. And the last reason, the last reason why I uh, am not deconstructing my faith, and this is an interesting one, is I never, I never got into certain circles. I never reached a certain level of Christian celebrity. Uh, in the midst of the 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 young and uh, reckless movement, if you will, there was a lot of people in a lot of different circles that I admired and I wanted to be a part of, but I never got into those circles. And what happened is people are, you know, wrestling with their faith is basically you had a lot of people in these conservative circles that embraced a lot of artists similar to myself. And then those leaders kind of let everybody down. And I was blessed that I didn't really get into those circles. I wasn't as successful as I could have been. And the point that I'm going to land at, and I really want you guys to consider, is that sometimes the greatest thing that you want to happen to you may be the best thing that never happens for you. I wanted specific things to happen. I wanted to rub shoulders with specific leaders and pastors and influencers. I wanted to be in specific circles and those things didn't happen for me. Those were great aspirations, but they didn't happen to me, but they were the very best things for me because in hindsight, I didn't put my, my, my faith or my worldview on the back of a person. I just said, man, you know what? I'm not in these circles. I don't know about some of this stuff. Some of these theologies are kind of interesting. Listen, I just believe in Jesus. I believe in the literal resurrection. And I'm going to do my very best to live out the life that God has called me to live. And so that's the big idea, man, is, is I'm not... I'm not going to take a bunch of extreme positions. I am going to keep challenging you guys that watch this channel in regards to theology, in regards to what are those essentials and what and what liberties and, and things are we flexible on in terms of culture? What things was Jesus flexible on in terms of culture and having healthy dialogue and healthy conversation. So those are the four reasons why I'm not deconstructing my faith, man, is, is, is I don't really see a need to because I view my faith as a very simple faith. I view God as a loving God and I, lo I view Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And that's that's it. That, that That's what I believe, you know. And so hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Hopefully the idea that the greatest thing you wanted to happen to you may not be the best thing that happened for you. Hopefully that encourages you guys. And so I want to hear from you guys in the comments section, man, like what are some things you're wrestling through? What are some things maybe you're deconstructing or are you not in this area of deconstruction? Is it because you had some experiences, some, maybe some emotional experiences, but you never were a skeptic, you never questioned, you never doubted that you, you, you were sustained in your faith as a follower of Jesus. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments section. Thank you guys so much. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on. Peace.